Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we are gonna be mulching this bed. I've got garlic in there, and it's really a good idea to mulch the garlic with something like hay, something light. Could use wood chips. However, that's pretty heavy. It can rob the soil of the nitrogen uh, while it's breaking down as well. It's not too much if you just leave it as a mulch on top, but I'm gonna use hay. I think hay is gonna be the best bet. The only problem is, with hay, you keep using the horn in recent years they have started spraying some herbicides that can harm most of your veggies so there's something it's a blanket term called grazon but it's got a compound of a couple different chemicals i do not know but if you guys look up grazon you'll be able to see what it is um, but grazon has like a half-life of something like five years and it can handle even going through the stomach of a cow after they eat it so even with a lot of compost cow compost, manure, whatnot, can also have that in it and it, it'll it ruin all your plants. So, and it can actually take like five years before that kind of comes out of your soil. So it'll damage all your plants for a long time. So it's really important to test whatever you're gonna put on that could possibly be sprayed with that. And most of the time it's gonna be something like wheat. So hay and straw are gonna have that possibly, not all of them. And it's a smaller percentage than you would think, but there's still a percentage chance that it could happen. So today I'm gonna be testing this and it actually is gonna take about a week or so before I can get the results. I'll bring you guys along so you guys can see to how to test your hay or compost to see if it's okay to put in your garden. Get some peas or beans because they're super susceptible to this specific herbicide. And so what they recommend doing is to plant some peas or beans in some soil with either the compost or whatever grow medium that you think might have been sprayed at one point with this stuff. So I added a whole bunch of the hay that I plan on putting up into here with some soil and so i planted this two days ago once they come up they say look at the leaves and if the leaves look crinkled or messed up in any way then it's a high probability of this having been sprayed with grazon so after about a week these peas sprouted now i said that i was going to be looking for funky looking leaves here and you can see there's some weird looking leaves but that has nothing to do with the hay that I put in. So it turns out the pea seeds that I had planted are this microgreen kind that have these tendrils and they're just there to be able to grasp onto things um, so it can climb, it's a climbing type, but the actual leaves look just fine. There's no issues, it's growing just fine. So I think this hay is not sprayed with that grazon. So I'm gonna use this as mulch now and I really need to get it in today because we've got a light frost coming it actually says it's going to be 34 degrees, but you never know. It could drop a little bit and it's just too close. I don't want this to freeze over yet because next week it's all going to be quite warm again. So I don't want one freeze and then it to come back to warm. It'll kind of shock these plants. So if I can lay down mulch layer, then it will kind of protect these a little bit. All right. So the brand that I'm using is a Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Yeah, uh, nice try. Buddy. Certified straw. And I got this at Tractor Supply. Anywhere you get straw, you still want to test it, okay? Even this brand, you still might want to test it, each individual bag, before you start using it on your garden. Just go ahead and take some out and test it like I just did. So let's go ahead and start spreading this. We're just basically trying to make a cover so that way this garlic is protected. And mulch also is a really good thing to help keep moisture in. But real simple, guys, we're just going to start spreading it across and you want it pretty thick in between the plants just make sure you're not damaging any of the plants get any kind of leaves up above get it up underneath the plant rather than on top got a couple of these just starting to pop up in the beginning stages kind of interesting how some of the garlic pieces came up right away and others like here and there are still really small you make sure that if you're going to put the hay around there don't disturb it just keep it around it and don't block the light. So if you have to, separate out the straw to be able to open up the spot so that way the sun can hit it and it's not impeding in it growing and getting sunlight. If I just go ahead and throw it on top like that, it's gonna block all the sun. So just open it up. All I'm gonna do is grab the strip line, pull it up a little bit, shake it, make sure that it's not under. I need a stake on that one. And then just keep everything up off the ground. You got to wet everything down or it's going to just blow away. In a couple days, I'm going to come through and plant some lettuce through here. 
So it's real simple. Once you mulch, you just basically pull, pull aside and now you're exposed to the dirt. You can put it right back and you can plant whatever you need. Well, this is gonna keep the sun off of the top layer of dirt. It's gonna help promote nutrients and bioactivity even in the top layer of dirt. And it's gonna just make these plants a lot healthier. It's gonna keep the moisture in rather than letting it evaporate. But it's also gonna keep frost from penetrating too deep into the soil. So it's gonna really help these garlic and whatever else I plant in here to withstand a little more winter temperatures. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, that would really help the channel out and help me out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.